Hello. This video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Minasan, Hontoni, Arigato gozaimasu. My name is Kurt, and today is uh, October 13th, 2023. This is my daily good life meditation, an exercise that I do each and every morning, a little bit after waking up. It's now uh, 4.42 a.m. I do this to remember my life objectives and principles, those which are outlined in my book, Going Alone, which you can get a copy of at the link above. And if you don't see a link, look for one down in the description. I also use this time to uh, think about the last 24 hours and how I did with the various challenges and opportunities that I encountered, including my sleep. I uh, plan for the coming day, and then I ready myself to die. But before I do any of that, I like to uh, start off with a, a poem. So we're going back to John Keats today, and one in a series of poems on fame. Literally, it's called On Fame First, the first. Here we go. Oh, there's uh, three items of vocabulary here. One is G-I-P-S-Y, which is an alternate spelling, an older spelling of the word gypsy, a now politically incorrect term for uh, the, peop the people who are prefer to be called the Romani or the, simply the Roma, the wandering people, as we, we know them. Another is a Nihilus, Nihilus born, in fact. Uh, I looked it up, and Nihilus appears to be the name of uh, the Nile River god, or one of several Nile River gods, one with a cornucopia of uh, bounty. Uh, another, word, another word here is Potiphar, which uh, comes from the Bible. It's the name of, in Genesis, the official uh, in, in uh, Egypt who, uh, to whom Joseph, um, of the coat of many colors, uh, was enslaved and who Potiphar had Joseph imprisoned after Joseph was falsely accused by Potiphar's wife uh, trying to seduce her. Okay, here we go. On fame, part one. Fame, like a wayward girl who will still be coy to those who woo her with two slavish knees, but makes surrender to some thoughtless boy and dotes the more upon a heart at ease. She is gypsy, will not speak to those who have not learnt to be content without her. A jilt whose ear will was never whispered close, who thinks they scandal her, who talk about her. A very gypsy is she, Nihilus born, sister-in-law to jealous Potiphar, yet lovesick bards repay her scorn for scorn. Ye artists forlorn, madmen that ye are, make your best bow to her and bid adieu, then if she likes it, she will follow you. So make your best effort, move on. And if a fame likes, it might follow you. Interesting, good advice, I think. Okay, let's get started. First, last night and yesterday. Uh, I slept good last night. I was up once. Why was I up? For no other reason than the administration of the faculties, I think. Nothing, nothing in the mind, I don't think. But I'm not, I'm not feeling very rested. I got to bed a little late. Uh, yesterday was a good day. Had the day off. I took the day off. And I went to uh, Riverside to a restaurant called Habanero that I'd been to before as a, a, a county employee. Uh, it, was close, it was close to work. And we went there to the banquet hall. And I gave a presentation to the Kiwanis Club of Riverside um, about artificial intelligence. About 45 minutes. Um, pretty much what I wanted to do. I came out good, except I had a couple of slides that were a little mucked up. I don't know how that didn't come out in my practice run, but I'll fix that and make some adjustments and I'll be ready for my next one. So good, good, I was pleased with that. Um, and then I came back and uh, had a good swim in the ocean, good read on the beach, came home and had a nice evening with my wife. Okay, now let's do the good life. I'm going to go over my eight objectives and 35 principles. The objectives are as follows. To be always ready to die. These are the objectives. Let me back up. These are the objectives for the state of my life, how I wish to be. 
how I wish to live my life. First, I want to be always ready to die. Two, I need to uh, make good and effective use of my time. Three, I need to develop and maintain good and sound life principles and objectives. Four, I want to cultivate good emotional reaction to whatever happens in life. Five, I want to perform good actions. Six, I want to recognize my true limits and my true opportunities. Seven, I want to do just one thing at a time and do that thing slowly and deliberately and carefully. And then eight, I want to maintain my balance at all times, not to be caught off my footing, even when the winds blow and life is unsettling. Strive to stay settled, but not in one place. <laughs> Never that. Rarely. All right, now my 35 principles are... And by the way, you can see all of these in my book. You can read about the details relative to these in my book, Going Alone, in the chapter titled The Good Life. War, reason, homunculus, anchor hold, home of good and evil, purpose, atomic principle, principle of nature, the pirate right, maturity, social principle, principle of family, public speaking, the uh, temperance, Life will not go well. The home of good and evil. Per, uh, the feast of Oval. Distraction. Agency and the great indifference. The best seat in the house. The restless man, the path of wildness, the great life adventure, sin and damnation, complete, ob complete oblivion, the season of philosophy, script writing, the bullseye aim, the uphill climb, arena and utility, nothing is enough, the principle of fun and um, being ready. Now I ended on a two. Clearly I messed up my fingers or I messed up the order. Mm, neither is possible. So again, let's forget for mixing it up and trying to do it a little differently. So now preparing for the day. It's a day of work. It's a Friday on. I have a, an ambitious plan for today. Uh, mainly I'm going to be getting ready for a meeting on Monday, which means that for the new project that I have, I need to, one, uh, organize the training plan, make some updates relative to the feedback I received. Two, I'm going to meet with the fiscal chief and um, for the agency that I'm working with and go over our plan of action for the, the items that need to be done, the in-scope items in the project and their level of effort and dependencies. Uh, three, I'll clean up the rest of the Gantt chart for the project. Four, I'm going to uh, take a nice clean pass at the project plan, although that's not due to show to anybody yet. I want to work on that a little more. And five, catch up on all my email from yesterday. Probably do the email first. That's my goal for today. Don't anticipate any challenges. Oh, and I'll meet with the vendor project manager to go over all of the above that I just said. Okay, am I ready to die? Are my affairs in order? Yes, they are. Are my relationships sound? Yes, they are. Are my, uh, is my life's work complete and done and finished? Yes, it is. My book is written, my daughter has grown. I can die at any moment now without a single backwards glance. So, that's enough. I wish you all the best. Be safe, but not too safe. Take care.